Hello, this is Rohan with Far From Standard Tutoring. Today, we'll be talking about exponential functions. So, y equals ba to the x is the general form of exponential functions that we'll be looking at initially. So, why did I choose the letter b as the initial value? Well, because that's what we use in lines, y equals mx plus b. Most people are used to b being the initial value. So, when x is 0, b is what y equals. Same over here. When x is 0, y will equal b. But what is a? Well, a is sort of like the m in lines, meaning it's the rate. It's the rate at which the function is going up or going down. With slopes, however, if m is positive, the function goes up, and if m is negative, the function goes down. Here, it's a little different. Here, if a is greater than 1, then the function goes up, and if it's less than 1, then the function goes down. Let's take a look at why this is true. What if uh, we take a to be 1.4, which is more than 1? What happens as x goes up from, say, 1 to 3, is the function pretty much gets multiplied by a number that's bigger than 1 many times. Clearly, it's going to go up. But if we choose an a value that's less than 1, for example, 0.7, then as x goes up from 1 to, say, 4, then the function is being multiplied by a number that's less than 1, which will make the y value smaller. This is why exponential decay functions are functions where a is less than 1. So this brings us to the general rule. When a is greater than 1, your function is exponential growth. When a is less than 1, then your function is going to be an exponential decay function. What about when a is equal to 1? Trick question? Not really. When a is equal to 1, then regardless of what x is, y is just going to equal b, and that's just a horizontal line. Now, let's take a look more specifically at what this a value means. What if a is 1.13? We know it's exponential growth, but how much is it growing by? Well, the trick is to look at how far away a is from 1. This is 0.13 more than 1, so this will be growing by 13%. This is 0.03 less than 1, right? And so it will be decreasing by 3%. Similarly, this is decreasing by 20%. This is increasing by 90%. What if a is equal to 2? Then your value is increasing by 100%, since it's 1 more than 1. This means that it's doubling, it's increasing by 100%. This is one Rohan, if I increase by 100%, which is another Rohan, then you'll have two Rohans. This is called doubling. That's, uh, that's what happens when a is 2. And so similarly, when a is equal to 3, that is tripling, because you're increasing by 200%. So in general, the graphs will look a little something like this. If it's exponential growth, it will look like this, where this is b, the initial value, the value of y, when x is 0. And if it's an exponential decay function, it will look something like this, where if this is the same value of b, it will go closer to where 0, but it will never actually reach 0. If you want more specific examples, more difficult examples, then stay tuned for the next video, where we look at many examples.